Now, a new report from TikTok has revealed the staggering impact the social media platform has had on Australia. And I'm not talking about silly TikTok dancers either. In the last 12 months, TikTok has pumped $1.1 billion into Australia's GDP and created close to 13,000 jobs. And that's definitely something to dance about. Joining us today to break down what this means for business owners, social media guru, Emily Rose Hills. Emily, great to have you on the show. How are small businesses harnessing TikTok? Well, they're getting on the platform. They're building communities around their businesses and they're creating ads that are driving direct revenue for their businesses. How is it different to other social media platforms. When you approach TikTok, do you, do you have to have a different strategy to say Instagram and Facebook or X? The basics of social media marketing have stayed the same and they've always stayed the same across all platforms. So you define your audience, you create content for that audience and then you funnel that traffic from that profile off platform. Now, whatever social platform you're investing in, that kind of strategy and that approach is always the same. Now, what makes TikTok different is this short form video niche that it plays within. So you're creating nine by 16 short form video and your goal really is to entertain your audience, your community, and that's what really sets it apart from a Facebook or a YouTube or even an Instagram. So the report highlights businesses doing it well. Dimmicks, for example, yeah. does it really well. From the businesses that do succeed, what's the secret sauce on oh, TikTok? Oh, the secret sauce? Yeah. <laughs> Look, there's a two-prong approach. There's the organic approach, which is building a community of people that trust you and trust your business and trust what you're saying. And then there's the paid prong. So you've got the organic piece, which is building a community, a genuine community of people around your business, your brand, your product, your service. And then you've got this second prong, which is the ads, where you're paying the platforms for an outcome that the business wants. So yeah. I'm gonna pay you for traffic to my website. I'm gonna pay you for a sale. And what you're seeing is the people that are doing it really well have the organic part and the paid part. And that kind of two-prong approach is, is key, really, to success. So give us an example of businesses doing it well. For example, in, in the cafe area. There's a cafe in Brisbane called Bricky, which is doing an amazing job. Um, the woman that runs that has put her face in front of the camera and she's showcasing day in the life of her and her bakery. So I think she's a really good example of how she's building and fostering a community around her business. And then she's running her paid ads to sell her cookies, right? right. And you can see that two prong approach really nicely there. And I suppose if you're a small business owner and you're thinking, what the hell? is TikTok about, <laughs> the best thing is to go on it, isn't it, and see what other businesses are doing and get inspiration from it. Exactly, get into a scroll hole, yeah. <laughs> go and have a look, <laughs> um, and take inspiration from, from other people and other businesses. It's a really fun collaborative space to play as well. You find like, that kind of notion of we're stronger together, you're liking my content, I'm liking yours, we both benefit from that action, is um, yeah, a pretty positive place to play. That's terrific. Emily, great advice. Thanks for your time today. Thanks.